sing that shit. hello guys this is the ice graphics welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime i release a video so today i'm going to be talking about um, the three ways on how i blend my my colors so i'm going to be illustrating the three ways i blend my colors so now i'm blocking um i'm placing down i'm just placing I'm trying to get a shape of a cycle for the base color. I'm just trying to blend, try blending it as a cycle in a cycle form. So I'm blocking uh, up uh, out the colors in a cycle form. So I'm trying to space it up so that it, uh, you can you can see the difference the difference between the the three um, ways on how to blend. So um, um the brushes i used in this video will be dropped in the description box just in case you want to see the brushes i used and i will also be mentioning it in the video so you should just pay attentive to the video so i'm trying to like fill up the colors in a cycle form so after filling up the colors there are some spaces there so i'm trying to fill them up so we get started with the video So we are done blocking in the colors, we are done filling up the colors. So I'm going to be showing you the first way I blend, which is in using in the soft airbrush. I'm presently using the air, uh, soft airbrush, just in case you want to go more, you want to go darker, you can use the hard airbrush. But presently I'm using my soft airbrush to to shade. So I've selected a a dark a shadow a dark shadow like a darker color for my shade so i'm trying to like apply it a little bit i'm trying to make sure you re reduce your opacity, your opacity to either 40 so as to get a good result so i'm trying to apply it um, gently around around the cycle i'm trying to apply it gently around the cycle so I've, i'm done applying the shadow the first shadow so i'm trying to be i'm trying to apply sorry trying to apply the highlights presently i'm using my soft airbrush to apply the highlights so this is one of the first uh, method you can use for your shading or for your blending so after applying the highlights at the top of your base and at the top of your your dark your dark shadow um, you can also mix um, if just in case you want to go more lighter you can also apply a whitish color at the top of your highlight so as to um it lost the like to show a strong light bouncing on the cycle like if you want to show a very strong light on the shadow so you can just use a white color to have a heart a heart light around the, the edge so if you want to have a strong light around the head and the edge you can use the white color so also below if you want to have a, a stronger light um, below your your painting or below your cycle you can use a darker color as you can see I've selected a darker shadow for my for my dark shading so I'm using my heart airbrush because it's more harder and it's more opaque than the soft airbrush so we are done we're done shading we're done shading as you can see 
the the and below is the dark at the dark um shadow and in the center is the dark is the middle tone the mid tone blended together with the dark shadow then the top is the highlights so this is one of the method you can use for your your, your blending so the color just in case you're confused on how color color palette works let me show you how it works um we are having two dark shadows basically we are having two dark shadows the dark shadow the darker shadow the dark shadow is the black the one near clue um, like it's close to a black color then the dark shadow it's the one like um the one a little bit reddish so they are all categorized under shadows they are on their shadow colors then the middle one is the base color or the mid tone just in case you are just in case you are confused and also the first one is the highlights so this is how the color works so i'm going to be blocking i'm going to be placing the colors i'm going to be putting the colors all over the cycle so that i'll show you the next um, way on how to blend so i'm going to be applying it quickly on my cycle So I'm done filling up the colors with the felt pen. So the next um, method I'm going to be showing you is use the use of blending brush. Is the use of blending brush. Just in case you are not using Autodex, you can use Photoshop for blending. For blending, you can use um, the mixer tool, the mixer brush for your blending. It also works almost same as this so you can also use a smudge brush just in case you have it on photoshop or on procreate you can also use it you can also use this smudge bristol brush on small smudge round bristle brush on autodex also it works almost the same thing as the blending brush so you can just um, set your flow to one percent make sure your your flow is on one percent then you gradually blend the colors pushing it Gradual, you gradually push the colors together and make sure you mix them up make sure your flow is at one percent then you're good to go just keep on mixing the color keep on pushing them towards each other keep on mixing them they'll blend yourself and by the use of the brush it's going to help you to blend the colors very easily so this is another technique on how I blend colors so just keep on pushing the colors keep on pushing the colors make sure your flow is at, at one percent and also you can just resize it anyhow you want so you can make your brush bigger or smaller it depends on how you like it so just keep on pushing the colors
so we are done blending it so in case you want a strong light or um yes a strong light on your ball you can just apply a whitish color then blend it up so this is another this is a very nice technique well um if you're having difficulty in either maybe shading using airbrush you can use this particular method for your shading it's a very good technique and it helps so it depends on how you you're good at what you're good at so it's either you're good at shading using airbrush or you're using and um, you're good at shading using and uh, the felt pen and the blending brush or the third one i'm going to show you now so i'm going to be showing you the third way i blend So the third tip, the third method I use um, is blending using the builder, the color builder. You can also use your felt pen for the um, for the blending. You can also use your hard round brush for your blending. Just in case you are using Photoshop or you're using um, Procreate, you can use your hard round brush. But make sure you reduce your opacity to like 40. So. Um, what you're going to be doing is picking up the color at the center make sure the the color you're picking make sure it's in between the two colors you are trying to blend as you can see i'm picking up the color in between them then i'll apply them uh, and i'll apply them at the top so that it will blend it will blend give me a gradient a gradient feeling you get so just keep on picking up the middle the middle color using your color picker make sure your opacity is at 40 percent or you can also reduce it it depends on how soft you want your blending to be so you just keep picking up the color at the center then blend them together so make sure your opacity is low then you just keep on blending them together they will eventually correspond and they'll eventually blend just be patient and keep blending them so it depends on how soft you want your work to be if you keep blending them they'll get more softer and softer and they'll look almost exactly um exactly to the um one i used for the for the mixer brush for i used for the blending brush and also for the one i used for the shading so just keep on picking up the center color then blending it together with the, the color you want you just pick the color in between the two colors then blend them just this is a very nice technique also so it depends on how um you want your work to be so just in case some people won't um won't like their work to look very soft so in case you don't want your work to look very soft you can use this technique so as to have a hard edge as you can see it's giving like a texture feeling to the to the um, shading to the recycle as you can see it's, it's showing a, a air the sorry it's showing the brush strokes on the cycle so some people would prefer their work to have a brush stroke on the on the on the workpiece so they don't uh, like prefer having a soft edge or a soft um, skin a soft um, work they would prefer to have like a hard um hard shading like a hard lightning on their piece so this is a the particular method you can use for your work so it's a very good method too it gives it's also um gives a, a natural texture to the shading it gives a natural texture even without applying your textures using the texture brush the freckles the um the sparkles even though you have you didn't apply the sparkles you can see the 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 surface of the painting is looking 
te texturized so just in case you want a painting coming with textures and hard edge you can use this particular method so i think we're done this is all i can say about um the three tips and the three steps on how the three methods sorry on how i blend so these are the three major methods on how, how i blend and also how i shade so if you have any question you can comment down below i would i would be glad to answer you and also um the color palettes i use for this tutorial and my other color palettes are in the description box so you can go and click on the link then download my my color palettes and also the names of the brushes will be listed in the description box just in case you want to do your personal tutorial or you can you want to like um you've forgotten the brushes and you want to like know the spelling so that you can you can figure it out on your autodesk you can search for it i will be dropping the names on the description box so this is just keep blending it depends on how soft it is so this is the three major um method i use for my blending so it just is left for you to like choose which one you would go for so i'm done with this tutorial thanks guys for watching if you have any question if the, if you think this video has helped you uh, you can subscribe and also click on the um come the like button and share with friends thanks for watching see you in my next video bye